Hello, welcome to my next video inspired by music. First, I need to insert lenses. And that's how I put them in. Just joking. It takes much more effort to put them in, but it's definitely worth it. Make sure you have a clean hands and no makeup before inserting them. Now I'm ready to start. First of all, I'm going to have makeup around my eyes and then paint the theme. So I'm starting with a very dark shadows on um, inside and outside of my lids. Then I soften everything with a bluish tint and block in my eyebrows with wax. This is to allow me to paint effortlessly over them and without thinking about it. I'm powdering them over adding excessive shadows around my nose, about my cheekbones and chin. Um, this is just to emphasize uh, my face because the look that I'm going to have later on is very strong and I wouldn't like to come back to my face afterwards. I'm using bendable ruler. This is actually uh, made for eyebrows but it doesn't matter as long as it goes around my forehead uh, to make the straight line and then I'm planning out my keys for the piano. Uh, two of the piano keys are going to go lower that's why I have these two horizontal lines going across the keys because that's where I'm going to paint these keys and I'm filling in the front of the piano since it's going to be the lightest part. Before I go to the top part of the keys, I need to plan my hand. And I took a picture of my daughter's hand playing a piano and um, tried to sketch it out on my forehead. In the meantime, I covered my hair with a gel so I could paint over. And now it's time to color the hand. First, I'm just applying uh, the beige color, uh, load it on my brush, darker and lighter color. So with lighter color, I'm going to the top. Obviously, there's more light. Now when my hand has all five fingers, I can go and finish off the piano. So I need to find out where the black keys are going to be. And I first sketching them out just to see the placement at the bottom and then I'm starting painting in the black color. Since some of the keys are going to be pressed, the black keys are going to go a bit lower on one side, on the same side that the white key is going lower as well. Also piano keys have spaces in between them, so I'm going in between with the black. For top part of the keys, I was using statue color from Superstar. I thought it just ideally matches to the shadow of my keys and I didn't have to mix anything. It just was nice to represent the white and shadow and I also added to this a little bit of black to shadow from the inside. Um, just to show this 3D effect. So first the clean color and then add a little bit of black. They're mixing amazingly, so um, it was really easy to do this effect. And next I'm just outlining the whole hand so it pops out on my forehead. Still looking at my daughter's hand on the picture, I'm trying to add more shadows and highlights. And that wasn't a very good picture because it really struggles. It was taken in a very um, high light and it was difficult for me actually to see any difference. I just seen the general shape. Um, I probably should have taken another picture, but I just went on with this. 
With the liner brush I'm going again uh, around all the keys just to emphasize the shadows since they were smudged a little bit while shadowing the keys itself. Now I need to paint a little bit of highlights on the black key so I can see the structure of it. Uh, so I'm going around the edges with white color and that's instantly make me pop uh, it out. Also front of the white keys is not actually flat, it has the top part sticking out so I'm adding shadow underneath this sticking out part which makes this effect uh, kind of deeper of this 3D. Also I'm adding a bit of highlights on one part of the key or one corner at the top just to make it even more three-dimensional. I'm also going over the bones uh, of the hand, the places where the bones are going to be and also adding some highlights. They're a bit uneven on the picture and I was, I was trying to represent the picture itself um, as much as I could. Just now this hand doesn't look like a hand but when I paint in the fingernails it is starting to take shape better. I'm also adding a little bit of highlights on them. Dirty fingers. <laughs> And while I remember, I would like also to invite you to the group One Stroke Beauty, where you can see lots of one stroke designs, not only by me, but by other amazing artists, some video tutorials. Also, I have placed at the top of this group in announcements, artists that are painting in one stroke technique, and then you're free to add your options, the artists that inspire you in one stroke or vote on those whom you already like and they are already here. This is kind of a chart of inspiration for you. If you're looking for some inspiration, you can always look through this artist and be inspired. And if you would like to follow me personally, you can also find me on Instagram as Ulianka Arti. I would love if you join me there. After all of this shadowing, I had enough of this hand, so I went on to my face. I wanted in the places that the um, keys are pressed to have like music, music going down and flowing down to my chin. So I have this white uh, repeating the pattern of my lens going through my lenses, through my eyes and down the cheeks. And I didn't want it to do it just like random lines, so I also started adding uh, more lines, um, white lines outlining my cheeks, my cheekbones uh, around my face, my mouth, and uh, outlining these white lines with blacks. In this look, I was trying to achieve the effect of music putting down my face. This is to symbolize a hard work that you do when you're training to play a music instrument. My own children were learning to play piano for many, many years, and that was hard work not only for them, but also for the whole family. Instead of playing games, they were going and playing piano every day. So this look is a combination of both the beauty of music flowing, but also a very, very hard work. I so admire my children for doing all this hard work, so this work was inspired by them. After having all of these lines completed, I'm going onto my lips, painting them white and also outlining them in black. Thank you. 
After I finished with my face, I'm going over to my neck, filling in it all with black together with my ears so they don't take attention away. Shadow a little bit about dark lines and I will add glitter at the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give me a thumb up or a nice comment and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of videos but haven't subscribed yet. By the way, if you would like to see how to remove these clever lenses, watch to the end.